Welcome back to Fresh Outlook. Well, let's start things off in the lightning round with the World Cup. Team USA is out, but it was a win for soccer here in the States. ESPN had 16.5 million viewers watching the game. Now, that is not a record for ESPN, but it is the second most watched men's soccer game in US TV history. And I know one of those people that was watching was Dee Dee, who is now a soccer fan. I am, but I'm so bummed. This seemed like we were asleep, except for Tim. Tim Howard was awake, but the rest of the team was Sleep. So it was kind of a bummer because I always like to watch in public arena and, and all the Americans were like, oh gosh, this is happening. Everybody wanted to stand. But this guy's really something. You don't forget him, do you? Uh, no, and uh, speaking <laughs> of goalie Tim Howard, uh, whose performance had fans nominating him for actually uh, uh, Secretary of Defense, he received a <laughs> phone call Love that. from the president. Let's have a look and listen. <laughs> Tim. Hello, Mr. President. How's it going? Hello, Mr. President. Man, uh, I just wanted to call and say you guys did us proud as somebody who, who whose first sport was soccer, although I was never that good, to see uh, the way you guys captured the, the hearts and imaginations of the whole country is unbelievable. All the players could muster was... It was our move there for uh, for President Obama. That'd that was great. That was cool. That was, <laughs> that was cool. But it was very <laughs> cute. He also got a uh, call even from the real defense secretary, of course, <laughs> Chuck Hagel, uh, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, but uh, were you really disappointed? Or are you who are you rooting for now? Well, I, I, I was disappointed. But, uh, you know, I like the, that soccer is being appreciated because I think the more you watch this sport, the more you realize the talent that these guys have, you know, with their feet and the way they move. And I think it's really great that we're appreciating, America is really appreciating sure. the skill set. Well, and also, you want to talk about a physical game. Uh, if you looked at uh, the Brazil game yesterday, I mean, that was, a, that was an cr incredible win yeah. for Brazil, yeah, right. but it came at a gigantic cost for that team. Of course, uh, Neymar, the world's, uh, the country's best player, um, he's out, that injury, he got that, that knee in the back, and wow, that's going to be something for them to advance with, uh, with Germany. Well, you know, it's always nice to be part of the world, and if we can be part of the world, um, um, uh, in the soccer area, I think that that's wonderful. I mean, it, 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 it's always, you know, the world cares about this very much. It's a sports event that people around the globe uh, participate in and watch, and if we can be part of that too, I think that's great. It I just think it's fascinating. brings the world closer. When you see everybody um, singing their national anthems and you see right. those kids there, I, I kind of find, I, I don't know if I've been saying this for the last couple of weeks, but I kind of find it's more, um, even more patriotic in some ways than, than the Olympics. Yeah, I part ways with you there. I'm going to stick to the trying to Olympics, but it's closed. It's great. Okay, so now we got to start saying, okay, a couple of my teams have been eliminated. Obviously, USA, <laughs> Italy's out. Um, I'm going with Costa Rica, everybody. Who, who are you going with? Brazil. Dr. Bart? Uh, Argentina, I think, has uh, got a good shot with uh, that famous guy, the... Uh, the uh, Atomic Flea. Okay. Uh, you love Ryan. that guy. I, 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 I like him. <laughs> As and I Dr. said Sanders? last time we spoke about this, I say the best team <laughs> for the sake of world peace. The best team. Oh, Mr. Ambassador here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Once, once during the show, he's going to be the ambassador. Fine. <laughs> but isn't it? It really is amazing. Just the ratings, and you know, we were talking about that last week. How when you watch, and they, you can't quite get those commercials in there, and yeah. but when you watch the. Um, the endorsements on the side, you'll see Coca-Cola pop up. Yeah. And they change every two or three minutes. Um, and that's how they make their money. Right. And they are, of course, the endorsements as well. And you, know, you, you know what I like about the soccer thing, though? I, I like the fact that everybody is looked at the same way. You know, like It's like racism goes away with this. And I like What do you mean? I, well, I mean, it, it's, it's a sport which that embraces everybody from all nationalities, all countries. And uh, even bef even before the the well, Brazil I think baseball match. does too. Well, I yeah, but I, I think so soccer goes transcends because it's in multi uh, nations. So I, I think it really has a, a, an effect on how we look at ourselves as human beings, and I think it's a very positive one. Well, I'd have to disagree with the doctor uh, on this point. There have mm -hmm. been some very ugly incidents um, in uh, various uh, sports matches involving soccer soccer that have been racist uh, and so forth. But if we can bring out the best of the sport, not the worst of the sport, then yes, I agree with you. It's well. a unifying factor and. It's, it's well, well, let's, let's just talk about what the refs were saying. I'm not sure if you want to talk about Brazil very quickly. Uh, they were saying that was such an ugly game that Neymar never would have been injured had they put a stop to it. They're actually blaming the refs on this. 
Yeah, I mean, there's some, you know, as in all sports, there are some unfortunate incidents and there are some unfortunate fans uh, who take advantage of the situation. So you always have to keep that in mind, but you also have to make sure that you keep it apart from what the sport is supposed hey, to be. So how can you tell and the sport so I think uh, I think well, as long as we focus on the sport as opposed to some of the blaming the, uh, the refs, I think is, is out of place. Well, they, they, I guess they didn't flag flag the a couple of the the teams, uh, some of the, the players yeah. earlier. And that sort of led to, you know, they were obviously going for the, going for the World Cup, and it got very physical. I just hate to hear whining. I don't want to hear any whining about it. I mean, if that happened, it's unfortunate, but you know, it's just part of the game. Yeah. Well, I, I, we're going to have to watch that because um, a lot of the a lot of the commentaries are c c coming out rather saying that they made a mistake. So we'll have to see that. We'll c keep an eye on that. All right. Well, we're also keeping an eye, on, of course, on our friend mm -hmm. Rob Ford. Well, he's out of rehab and back on the campaign trail, but uh, gone is his vitality. A lot of people are saying that he's um, just not quite the same guy as he used to be. Uh, Dr. Bart, we always weigh in with you on these types of things. Well, I, I think his personality really was so engaging when he was a little crazy and a little off-center. <laughs> and uh, I think that Didi brings up a good point with him all the time. I mean, at what, at what time do we accept someone and his bizarre behavior if, in fact, he's still doing what we think is, might be a pretty good job? I think he crossed the line, but I think he's great for us to talk about. So. Didi, I mean, like here he, here he is again. Well, but uh, I kind of like the old Rob Ford. <laughs> Other than that drug abuse thing, uh, so does it have to be linked? I'm thinking maybe he's just kind of getting it together, and, and then he will naturally come back. <laughs> so that's the hope, and I hope he wins. Well, they actually were saying that because he is, has gone into rehab, that he's not taking the humble approach. Uh, you know, when you when you come out of rehab, that you should you've done worked with a lot right. of people with substance problems and things like that. Well, that's that. probably why he's subdued. He, he came out of rehab and he, he's got a lot on his mind. There's a lot of pressure to act in a certain way. He's been coached to present himself in a different manner and he's going to have to deal with that. There's a heavy weight. But there's a lot of pressure on that. Would you suggest for, to somebody to go back into the political arena after everything he's gone through if he's just come out of rehab? I think he, need, he, has, he should have a fair shot at it. Well, I, think I don't think I don't think public office is a, is the place where you get uh, treated for your personal issues and personal problems. When they seem to be as deep and as complex and as problematic as uh, the mayor's problems, I think it's time for him to retire. No, what deal, with personal, deal with his personal deal with his personal issues. Lots of people are good people, but when it seems to overtake your public responsibilities, but it hasn't. Um, then I think it's time to, to go. I mean, the, the public done. office is not the place uh, to hash out your personal well, problems and to solve them. <laughs> No, I hope he wins. I think it'd be great. It'd be a good comeback story. Well, we, we all like uh, just at least to talk about him because there's nobody quite like him in the world, except for in Japan. I don't know if you saw this one. <laughs> well, speaking of politicians, well, there was this footage of the Japanese leader sobbing as he tried to explain his extravagant use of public funds. This went viral. It went around the world. It caught the attention of a couple of hundred, a couple of million people, I should say, worldwide. <laughs> well, let's, have, let's have a look and listen to this guy. I mean, oh, I mean, for crying out loud, I mean, like, pull it together, buddy. I, I actually got to say, I, and this went on, this rant went on for something like three hours at a certain point. Uh, Forget Rob Ford. I, 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 yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, I, I kind of have more respect for Rob Ford exactly. than this guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, for hours, you <laughs> have to it. wonder, is this, is this a little staged or is this a little bit too mechanical? You mean like that phone call of Obama to the, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a little staged. Yeah, he had, no, guy, that, he had a guy a gallon of sake or something. Mm -hmm. Don't know what it, bad, whether it's staged, but you have to wonder what's going through this man's mind. And I would say again, <laughs> the same same comment applies to him as to uh, I, as I, I think mayor. crying is not a bad thing. I mean, Hillary for three uh, cries. Hours. You know, Banger <laughs> cries all the time. He cry, cries all the time. Well, well but, Banger but, does cry all so, the time. But I don't think I don't like that either. I don't think it's bad. But for hours, I mean, right. I, what's going on? And here? screaming, not just crying, screaming. Mm. I, well, you know something. I don't know if you want to call it narcissistic or whatever, but I'm just saying that for the reporters. I mean, I was laughing because. You know, half, a lot of times when you're a reporter and you're out on the scene, you, you don't have that much time if you're at a press conference. I'm wondering what you would have done as, as a reporter what, if you would have packed up your camera or you just <laughs> keep yeah, it It's camera. amazing. They just kept filming it. Well, it's amazing. I think, yeah. but I think you would like have been in shock. Like, how do you turn away from it? Because we're always used to seeing politicians or business executives or people in positions of power uh, rationalizing and making excuses for what they have done yeah. that is wrong. Yeah. To see somebody actually cry and, it, and admit a mistake is an unusual thing. And so that's why it's so captivating. I, I think it was captivating also. I, I've got to say. I think it was yeah. insane. <laughs> I, I still have to say, <laughs> I, I just imagine like, you know, calling up your 
news producer. He's still crying. <laughs> Do we come back to the station? <laughs> <laughs> and screaming, he's wailing. It wasn't just sobbing. It wasn't a banner cry, which is bad enough. Yeah. I mean, he was wailing. All right, Crazy. we do have another uh, topic we got to talk about. Hey, you know, the stock market helped kick off the July 4th celebrations by hitting a historic all-time high, closed at 17,000, and that certainly kicked off some fireworks down on Wall Street. But is this good? That's always going to be the question. Will the markets have to correct themselves? 17,000, that's amazing. I, th I think this is another sign. I know the GOP doesn't want to hear it, but another sign that we're gradually getting better. And isn't it interesting? that Fox News hardly wanted to cover that story and the lower unemployment. They I don't know what you're watching. Oh, it's the Fox. You know Charles Payne, my good oh. friend, he, kept, he talked about this whole show, making uh, money with they, Charles they, Payne. They, they minimized it. No, they didn't. They it was more of a Fox business well, I, thing. I, I think it's an indication that uh, the limited stimulus that the Obama administration was permitted to make uh, has actually worked. Had he been allowed to do more, I think we would have come out of this uh, recession uh, much quicker, much sooner, much faster. But whatever limited stimulus has uh, been put into the economy, apparently has worked uh, it certainly is does it worry you though because whatever goes up usually has to come down that's true but the stock market historically speaking never quite goes down as much historically speaking as it goes up you so yes expect some losses this is not going to last forever but it's a good sign because when it goes down it'll go down to a higher level than you know the why I think it's ever. a good sign Real we, quick, very quickly dr. Bart because green is the new future and I think the future is going to be with the stock market going up even higher because we're going into new technologies <laughs>